I have only had one boyfriend oh. who I'm currently dating. And you think he doesn't want any other? Absolutely not. Whether he's humans, a human being and has interests. Humans are biologically monogamous. Yeah. You said what? Humans are biologically monogamous. Um, mm. Bull crud. No, no, they're not. Yes, they so. are. No, yeah, no, they are. No, men. they're not. Well, you are. You, are. you want one guy. Homo we, sapiens. We, we want. Yes. No, they're not. We're not yeah, lobsters. homo sapiens are monogamous it can, creatures. It can take a simple mate. Google search. Like, like, read a book on oh, it. Hold on. Oh, my goodness. I'm Aaron sorry. Aaron Chambers super chatted $199. Yo, thanks, Aaron. Appreciate it, man. Hey, Brian, it's the Aaron slash Jessica attack again oh. from Sunday. Asika, would you consider bringing on Vince Stand or Gavin McGuinness on show? It would be a podcast to remember. Uh, I'm not sure who Vince Dow is, but I know, isn't Gavin McGuinness the uh, uh, Proud Boys founder? Um, <laughs> that might be, uh, is that TOS? I think he's banned on Twitch, so that might be TOS for us. Um, yeah, I, honestly, I don't really know m enough about, about them, but... Uh, yeah, never say never. Okay, sorry. Go ahead. Continue with your. Oh no, you said you said Homo sapiens are. There's only like there's only like eleven mammals that are monogamous. That is correct. And humans aren't one of them. They are. I read a book on it. You can read. It's you called read a book on by it. You all know a Harari. So just because that, per that one person made a book, it's right. <laughs> Scientific research. I think that women are definitely long-term mating partners. Like, yes, I think women are. Women are, but men aren't. We're complete Humans. and utter, utterly opposites. There has been a cultural, uh, I think where it differs <coughs> biologically and culturally, it's been more culturally accepted, but biologically, lifelong mating partners. Is it on no, Google culture, Scholar? No, culturally, it's... It's a scientific it's what, book. It's what it, cause it's what, that's what's good for society. Very credited. Aren't penguins also long-term mating peer partners? Reviewed. Yeah, penguins, parrots. Et cetera. Mm -hmm. Very. Swans. Maybe. Swans? That's cute. Swans, geese, but lobsters. About a quarter of all primates. About a quarter of all primates. <laughs> lobsters are believable. For crustacean. Sure. Yeah. <laughs> Shellfish. I was, gonna, I was gonna say the sea's cockroaches. <laughs> I think monogamous delicious. marriage they're is probably one of the yummy. best things you can do for yourself. Absolutely. To find happiness. And for a culture that's extremely well, important. you don't find we, happiness. I thought we already all agreed that you the two-parent household is, yeah. is, is beneficial. I, I think so how happiness. are we going to have a two-parent household if we don't, you know, endorse Ooh. and promote marriage? That's true. You just said Ooh. all this bad stuff about uh, single-family households. Yeah. But then you but don't think you don't condone you know, should commit to marriage. No. Who, right. I, I Look at Nick Cannon. Come on. <laughs> like he can do it. If he can do it. I never say I never said marriage is bad. Yeah, if he's a multimillionaire. <laughs> so marriage with multiple women is Yeah. Cool. Yeah, absolutely. Wait. There's cultures that are Islam. Like you can that. have as if you can take care of as many wives as you can, you can if do I that. Can they take advantage of that though. I agree. I know who a lot advantage? of I know a lot of Arab men who take advantage of that. Oh, of like Well, there's good men and bad men everywhere. Yeah. There's so always gonna be somebody women. taking yeah. advantage of somebody. But I'm, yeah, that's fine. That's you funny. wanted to come in? Go ahead. Oh, I was going to say there was a quote somewhere that said that Nick Cannon regrets regrets having so many children with so many different women because he can't be in all of their lives like mm -hmm. often enough. Yeah. Like how many birthdays does he have a year? He has like 16, like 12, well, including his wives or whatever, <laughs> girlfriends, whatever, whatever, <laughs> like at least 20 to celebrate or to remember. Yeah, and he I has can bar the, barely remember like five. Yeah, and he has the financial resources, like more financial resources than like ninety nine percent of men. So yeah, I, I'm I, out of Nick curiosity. Nick Cannon's children will be fine. Can yeah, you can you name someone, someone who doesn't have an incredible amount of money that is in a productive, uh, fulfilling polyamorous relationship where their family and wives? Yes, I know. Like, I know quite know, a few people enjoy it. Yes, I know quite a few people. That's a, there's a whole community. Mormons? Of, no, polyamorous. Of people that are poly and yeah. happy and whatever. I, I just I think that that is the like a, a small sliver of people. I think that's a very small sliver of people. And if women take up just a little more than half the population, and most women are not down for that, then how is how are we endorsing relationships where men get multiple women at once? Because the men because the men that can have girlfriends are gonna ha have women. Do you, Wait, you get what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> like the men that can get girls, mm -hmm. they're going to get girls, and the the men that don't. They but just what does get. that do for a society? 
some men like, do don't even want multiple thing? girls like i understand we're thinking that it's a small-minded oh just mm. me i'm gonna do this this gets me off i enjoyed this but what like do you think so this would be a good thing if you know everyone in america or you know that was the the um like quota that's what everyone's doing when well that used to be the that used to be how the world was the and we've mi- evolved mi- to marriages committed marriages right because that's what was better for society but now we live in a world with social media where the women y'all pick you, you decide who you date Fuck if you, there's media. dudes that don't get anything that's the case. so you guys decide to smash the dudes that are six eight six four abs attractive <laughs> blah 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 you don't pick the other guys right that's natural selection. Yeah, I, I mean, I guess you're. Where are you going? It, it depends on who you're talking to. Yeah. So I, I, mean, I don't go for the l- length, height, and same. abs. Pause. Okay. Right. You go for guys you can be mean to. Huh? You go for guys you can be mean to. No, I go for I go for men because I do agree. Like my okay, I like making my money. Right. I love working. Um, that is something that I'm passionate about. However, I still like to be taken care of. So I want someone that has their stuff together, but then I'm also dating in my 30s, mid 30s, almost 40s, right? So it's different than like when I was dating in my 20s. You guys are all in your 20s, you're in your 30s. But men in their 30s, I still consider are like in your 20s, you know? I tend to date older. Right, but those older men are still gonna date younger women. Correct, I'm younger than the older men yes mm-hmm. so right correct. but, but no, she's in a different age no. bracket baby i mean no. i'm in a good age bracket i believe right now because i've have you guys ever seen those memes it's like don't play with me i could date you or your daddy <laughs> i'm in that i'm like i'm sorry guys i'm that. i'm right there right now my yeah right so. but i don't i don't think you understand what i'm saying a man that, okay what what age of men are you saying that you date i how, usually how like these? to date at least 40s and up. So, what do you think is a man's prime? When does a guy hit his man hit his prime? I think they don't start maturing. I'm not, I'm sorry for the ones that are mature. Um, I think that they don't get it out of that because maybe I came from Los Angeles and the you know you see guys that are like 39, 36 still in the club. That's not a good look, right? For me. When do guys hit their prime? In oh. my humble opinion, I think at forties and up, forties and up with experience. For instance, okay, so if, no, no, no. So when do women hit their prime? Well, it just depends because J Lo's in her fifties and she looks better than she was in her twenties. J Lo's bank account is also very, very fat, correct. So we can't really compare. Oh, it to 